My name is Greg Ekshian. I was a member of the Cohort 7 of the Blotnik Fellowship, and I'm also a co-founder of Stratagem Bio. I was lucky that I grew up around parents and grandparents that had started businesses. So the idea of building a company was something from a young age that I was very interested in. That entrepreneurial pathway existed as a kid, but also the idea of rigorous scientific and engineering training was something that was also part of my life. I grew up in a family of engineers. So for me, it was kind of, okay, how do I marry these two things together? The Blavatnik Fellowship seemed like the natural extension of this multi-decade interest in first in entrepreneurship, then in the life sciences. It seemed like a very logical way for me to take a step to bring this technology that I had worked on as a grad student and postdoc into a commercial product. I had been watching the Blotnik Fellowship for a while, and I was really excited when they started opening it up to Harvard-affiliated postdocs. So for me, that felt like a really unique opportunity to be part of this great business network, great program that had a, clearly a strong track record into being a full-time entrepreneur. And I think the Blotnik Fellowship really helped Stratagen Bio, helped me with that transition. And that's what investors want to see. That's what partners want to see, that you're not still of the mindset of, I'm a researcher in a lab. They want to see that mindset of, I'm thinking about the things that are going to help advance this technology, help us get adoption. Stratagen Bio is focused on using innovations in material science and software engineering and MRI data processing to enable quantitative and absolute measurements of tissue oxygen. We've decided to initially start in applications in oncology. And the reason for that is tumors with less oxygen are often harder to treat and lead to poor outcomes for patients. If we can provide clinicians with this information about tumor oxygen, they can take steps to try to overcome that resistance and improve the outcomes for these patients. This technology we started developing when I was a PhD student at MIT and continued to develop it when I was a postdoc in a collaboration with Brigham and Women's and Dana-Farber. That then morphed into my time in the fellowship and now our time in the Life Lab. The fellowship really played an important role for us in figuring out what made the most sense as far as the path forward we were gonna take. As the first postdoc, the highlights from this for me were really the connections I was able to make. I think I feel really lucky that my network that I built as part of the fellowship has really continued beyond that. The minute the fellowship formally ends is not the minute that the network and all the resources that we've built over our time in the fellowship ends, that really continues. After the fellowship, we were able to transition to operating our company out of the Pagliuca Life Lab on the Harvard HBS campus. I think it seems like a very natural extension of the fellowship. You get a nice ecosystem of people well beyond your company. As the first person in seven years who wasn't an HBS alum, that also felt really exciting. Hopefully that's something that the fellowship's always doing because I think postdocs are in a very unique position where we can benefit tremendously from what the fellowship has to offer. I really think the fellowship was instrumental in transforming me going from a scientist and a researcher into a life science entrepreneur. You really are supported in any way you need to be to launch your company. So I think, you know, that's a pretty unique thing where so many people are willing to give so much and don't ask for anything in return for that. It's really the Blotnik Fellowship asking you, what do you need to advance? If you don't necessarily know that, they'll help you figure that out. One of the things that really was impactful for me was getting to spend a lot of time in the clinic and actually see patients interacting with doctors. And for me, it really felt like, you know, the sooner we can get our technology to the market, these patients would actually be able to benefit from that. And I think the Blotnik Fellowship really helped Stratagen Bio make sure clinicians are using this technology, help us develop something that's gonna help patients. The fellowship helped me take that really strong technical foundation we had, marry that with all the business opportunities, all of the advice and leadership and resources in the Harvard ecosystem, bring those two things together and really accelerate what we're doing at Stratagen Bio.